Hi, I'm Stephanie Patsalis and welcome to Simply Greek, where you'll learn some easy and simple healthy recipes that you can take and make it your family with your family or with your friends. They're healthy and they're all the flavors of Greece. I love making Greek Mediterranean food and showing people. This is one of the recipes that I've adapted. I will always think um, the Italians and the Greeks have so much in common and this is called Kalamata alla bruschetta. Kalamata alla bruschetta is a take on the Italian favorite, but we have Greeked it up with a little modern twist by adding Kalamata olives and some flavors of Greece along with feta cheese. So this is one of my favorite recipes and a great go-to to bring to guests or when I'm hosting a dinner party. All right, so we start out with Roma tomatoes, about nine of them chopped up. And we are going to just place them in a bowl and the flavors are going to build upon each other. I always, and then we'll take a yellow onion, about one and a half. It seems like a little bit more tomatoes to the onions, but if you like onions, you could do half and half. And then I like to get the garlic in right away. Two to three cloves is not even enough for me. <laughs> three to four, but no, two to three. So your guests are all um, get the flavor but are not overpowered. So just mix it together and sea salt. There we go, one to two teaspoons to your liking. And then oregano, a nice um, Greek oregano or an organic oregano. I crush it up to release the flavors. I use about two to three tablespoons of oregano. Oregano um, really is the essence of Greek cooking and it has a beautiful flavor especially with some tomatoes in the summertime. Then fresh cracked pepper, again to your liking. And I put all the ingredients in first before I put the olive oil. There we go. And then a little bit of lemon, just to break it up and give it a little citrusy taste. This one is great as a dip or, as we know, on toasted on bread. The Kalamata olives that are chopped, give them a nice, nice coarse chop. The flavors look beautiful and the colors also. Then, um, some basil, some chopped basil. This is a very healthy recipe. And then premium extra virgin olive oil. Um, the premium extra virgin olive oil, I always say, you know, um, when you're going to use it on a salad or bruschetta, bruschetta, make sure you use the best olive oil you can find. If you're going to cook with it, use a light olive oil. The greener, the better. And this is beautiful olive oil. Greece has some great olive oils all over. So do the other countries. There we go and use a quarter cup or half a cup of olive oil. And our last and final touch is feta cheese. A nice crumbled feta cheese. It works really well with the flavors. And just a one last touch with a little bit more olive oil. And then we will finally do the presentation. We're gonna get this into a nice bowl. Now, I know bruschetta with toasted bread is the traditional way, but your guests were going to love this. They're going to love it as a dip. And you can use it with pita chips or pita bread, or you can toast bread. There we go. Finally, just dust it with a little bit more oregano, and there you go. And then this is your bruschetta. What I also like to do is serve it with the pita bread, sliced pita bread or pita chips. And I'm gonna show you also a quick way. Take your um, toasted bruschetta, your bread, and you are going to just dollop a little bit on each piece 
It's a nice kind of rustic feel. So there you go. There's two simple and easy ways to make Kalamata ala bruschetta, the Mediterranean diet way. Thank you and we'll hope to see you again with Simply Greek.